हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आई मेड मी थिंक वीडियो सीरीज ट्यूटोरियल फॉर रेस्ट एपीआई टेस्टिंग एंड ऑटोमेशन यूजिंग जावा प्रोग्रामिंग एंड ओपन सोर्स टूल्स सो इन दिस वीडियो सीरीज वी वर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट ओपन सोर्स टूल कॉल जेमीटर फॉर आवर एपीआई टेस्टिंग वी इंस्टॉल द जेमीटर टूल वी ऑल्सो सॉ बेसिक ऑप्शन लेटर सी इन डिटेल अबाउट जेमीटर टूल so this is the basic screen when uh, will will be shown when you open a jmeter tool uh, there are some common options for example to run the test this is the option and to clear the console output this is the option now uh, let us take a simple example of get and post request so this is the sample script i have for get and post request so we need to create a test plan so and then inside that we need to create thread group so how to create a thread group is just right click threads and thread group so i have already created a thread group so inside thread group uh, fill all the forms now if you see here uh, as we are going to do functional testing for apis rest apis so i have put like everything is one here because i am not doing a performance testing then i need to create a, a, a http request so how to do it is right click add sampler and http request <coughs> then i inside http request let's see what are the what all options we have so put some name comments so server name or ip so as it is running locally on my local host i am putting it as local host port number is 8080 connection connect so connection timeout response timeout so within 5 Five thousand milliseconds. If it did, does not connect, then test will fail. This uh, similarly for response timeout. I am using the latest HTTP client four. I am using get method. This is the path of the URL. This is the name of the API that is sign up. Uh, I think if you if you see the specification, this is the sign up sign up get I am doing. So this is the URL for that. and so as of now there is no body because i am just uh, hitting a get request for sign up to after get hitting the request i'll get the response so once i get the response what i should do with the response so let us see what is something called response response assertion how to do it is right click post processor and assertions response assertions here response assertion so response assertion will be based on the response code so as you can see uh, as per the specification if if the api succeeds then i will get a 200 http 200 okay status code so i am asserting on that basically response code contains 200 if it does not contain 200 then this particular request will fail header manager how to create a header manager HTTP header manager. We can also go for cookies and here cache, but let's try to understand header manager first. So header manager here we will have to specify what will be the content type, what will be the accept type, which will be application JSON, application JSON. This is as per our uh, specification document. Now let us see post request. So post request is this. Uh, other options are same. This is a post method. and uh, this is the sign up is also a post request uh, supported from the specification document and these are the parameters so if you see the specification document for sign up post for sign up post we should have these many parameters because basically it is a form when we create an account where we submit a form so email id password first name last name all options are here so email id first name last name gender password Uh, secret question one two and their answer. You form URL. In, uh, this should be encoded. Should be ticked. Equal encoded equal should be ticked. And we can also make it as a JSON using body data. But as of now, I, I am considering it as a, a variable format here. Nothing there. Nothing is there in the advanced. 
let us see what is okay assertion so if you see as per the specification if the uh, post request is uh, succeeds then we will get a 201 uh, as a status code so i am asserting on uh, simple uh, http post response uh, main sample only i am asserting on response code contains 201 basically when a resource is created i'll get http 201 which means the resource resource is created if if not created then i'll get some other response code and that means i am the test will fail header manager if you see uh, as per specification the content type for the post http uh, sign up post request because it is a form so it should be url encoded application slash x hyphen double w hyphen form hyphen url encoded should be the content type and accept type as, as usual it's a application json now this one something called a regular expression extractor how to do it right click add post processor and regular expression extractor so basically uh, this is these are the advanced feature in jmeter which i think we don't have in uh, postman basically from the response so response will be in json format so in the uh, response for creating an account we will get an activation key as per the specification so we need to use that activation key for later subsequent requests for example if you want to activate that account when then we need a we need an activation key so uh, what i'm doing is i am parsing the response response body i am parsing the response body and uh, it will be in key value pair format so i am putting a name for that activation key and i am putting a payload so basically when we execute the test case then i will show you in the payload we'll get something called activation key and that activation key we will use it for subsequent request so using this as a variable format it is useful for subsequent request or we can so that is the advantage here is we can have multiple variables and we can put some values uh, assign some values to that and we can use it for any further request so tomcat is running locally on my local host and uh, let us see the, the results here for all the requests so i'm just running the test okay now you see the response so green means the the assertion is fine the test is also passed let us see the details get request and response data so uh, we we were asserting on 200 so the, uh, okay let us see the okay in the response we are getting 200 okay and application type json application json is the format of the response this is the request and so this is the request this is the url we hit in the request and uh, response data we have got proper response we have got the json response what we usually used to get uh, from the get request post post also is green we'll see the post request so post uh, response we got is 201 request was this this is the request sign up is also post request and we have sent the for the data like uh, sample your email id username password and uh, uh question questions and answers and other data in the response we got this so uh, see here activation key account basic activation key so that is a part of payload here so this this payload this uh, uh, key is payload and the actual is uh, this value is the value so this value we will need for account activation if we go for activate request so get and post request we saw how to uh, raise get request how to raise post request how to how to parse the response how to put it in, in a variable and how can we use it we also saw the uh, in the post request what should be the content type uh, in the header what should, what things we should specify and we also did some extraction of the response in the uh, basically we extracted the json format and we took it as a variable so uh, in this is the basic for jmeter uh, based testing get and put request uh, for for next videos we will see a detailed example of all the scenarios which we discussed here all the six scenarios and their jmeter scripts we will see in detail if you have any question any doubt please put it in comments i will try to answer most of them and Please like and comment the like comment and share the videos among your friends. Thanks for watching.